good morning you guys so for today's video i <laughs> really want to get out of my lazy era because ever since i came to this airbnb i have been sleeping in i have kind of been just like in that phase of my life where i'm like you know what i don't really care what time i wake up at i'm just gonna kind of do what i want to do i'm not really like on my grind right now you know what i mean so i want to change that i just want to say that periods where you're not on your grind are totally like essential and they're so normal i honestly make myself sometimes feel guilty about like slacking off and not waking up as early as i used to but it's like, no, this is like all ebb and flow of your life and it's so normal and it's actually needed to have these periods of our life where we are not super on our grind or not super productive. Like it's necessary in order for us to have those months and eras of our life where we're really productive, where we get a lot done, where we wake up early, where, when we're on a good sleep schedule. And so it's okay if you fall off of that because that just kind of means that your body needs rest. And also life is not about being perfect. And like it's impossible to be perfect 24 7 especially when things in your life are changing like it's normal to adapt to that and just kind of like adjust and whatever you need to do so anyways i have been currently in my lazy era i just feel now i've been in that era for enough time where i feel the motivation that i'm like okay i want to start waking up earlier i want to start like doing some more intense working out like i want to start running or something but we'll figure that out today i just really want to get back on my grind so that's what this video is going to be about me doing today so yeah i woke up earlier today and it feels really good but yeah i'm really excited to have a nice like full-on productive day hopefully this leads into me getting out of my lazy era because i'm, I'm making this a goal <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy I have been pretty consistent with doing like my morning routine in terms of like I've been coming out here every morning and reading my spiritual book and drinking my greens and taking my vitamins and stuff like that but I just feel like I haven't been very disciplined on myself I have been letting myself snooze my alarm at least 20 times upon waking up like I'm not even kidding Joel goes absolutely insane <laughs> because of how many times my alarm rings before I get out of bed it's so bad you guys and once I let myself press snooze once that just leads into me pressing snooze 25 times and it's so bad and it's a habit that I really want to conquer and it's something that has put me in my lazy girl era because I am notorious for hitting snooze on my alarm which for me personally just doesn't make me feel good and it honestly just doesn't set my day up for the most productive day because that kind of leads into other things where it's like it's just me procrastinating essentially because I procrastinated that first thing in the morning it leads me into procrastinating a million other things throughout the day which is a really bad habit to have but yeah when I'm on my grind I do not press snooze like I get out of bed right away and that's honestly the key to waking up early is you can't press snooze or you're literally never going to get out of bed it's just going to make you more and more and more tired your 15 minute nap in the morning doesn't do anything for you but anyways let's read our book that i read every morning i already feel so much better like so much more productive just not pressing snooze in the morning like it actually changes my mood okay Okay, you guys, so I just got in my workout set because we are gonna go out and run. Since I got here, I haven't really been, I feel like, pushing my body. That's a part of why I've been feeling like I'm in my lazy girl era because I just haven't really been, I don't know how to describe it, but I haven't really been exerting much 
energy like i've been going on my daily hot girl walks but in terms of like weightlifting, going to a gym like i haven't been doing that and i feel like i need to start pushing myself more and i need to turn the vacation mode off so i'm gonna go on a little run today and see how it makes me feel and if i really like it then i'll continue to do it but i just want to do something that really pushes my body because i just feel like i need that and that's a part of why i've been feeling a little bit lazy lately and working out is like a big part of my life and i feel like just because i am traveling and i moved it doesn't mean it has to stop yes walking is a form of exercise but it's also very like for me it's a very easy form of exercise where after i do it it's not like i'm huffing and puffing and it's not very like high intensity versus like running which is actually pretty hard for me and i feel like i lost a lot of my stamina especially since i haven't worked really worked out in a long time besides like going on my really long walks and stuff Anyways, so that's what we're doing. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't like ran I feel like in so long But i'm just gonna push myself to do it because we're getting out of our lazy girl era So i'm just gonna get my runners on we're gonna go outside and hopefully Break a sweat and then we'll shower. Let's go <laughs> Okay, let's get ready for the day. I think I'm just gonna stay though in this. I just feel like a chill vibe today. It's super hot out actually, but you know those days when you just feel like wearing sweatpants? Like that's today. Even though it's hot outside, I'm wearing sweatpants because I just feel like it. I got these sweatpants from H&M four years ago and they're just so good. They're in still really, really good condition, but I don't know. They're just my favorite sweatpants ever. They're like the perfect material and I love them, but I don't think they sell them anymore, which is super sad. In my book that I was reading today and also my meditation, I was talking about the law of like karma, cause and effect. I just wanted to share a bit of it because I feel like it's something that everybody should be paying attention to if especially if you believe in like the law of attraction and everything because it's crazy how karma is real and what i mean by karma is like good karma and bad karma and just like neutralized karma in general and basically it was written that like every choice that you're making has a consequence karma is attached to everything whether we know it or not and like the smallest things as well like our little um day-to-day -day decisions and also it was talking about taking like bad karma and turning it into a good experience so that you get good karma from that bad karma experience and gave the example of like okay if you break your leg that's like considered bad karma but you can use that experience to like help others through their journey of breaking their leg like for an example yeah basically it was just saying that like every decision that you make you just have to be very conscious of the outcome of, the, of that if it's going to hurt anybody if it's going to benefit anybody karma is one of the laws of the universe and it's so true and when i read that i'm like oh shit like i haven't really thought of that much but basically the book was saying that like you don't need to stress over it you just need to like every day just like basically be a good person make good choices make sure what you're doing just doesn't harm anybody and that's it and you will get good karma for that yeah it's crazy because like i totally do believe in karma and if like anybody does me dirty i'm not gonna like go after them and like attack them because i personally know that like karma is coming to them and i don't need to actually physically like do something to get back at them because karma will do that for me <laughs> but yeah that's just your little reminder that karma is real because i just feel like sometimes in our day-to-day -day lives we forget these types of things and it's like these are the things that like make a huge difference in our day-to-day -day lives and what energy we're going to be receiving every single day it's going to be positive and what is gonna bounce back at us essentially and the more good vibes you put out there the more good vibes that you're gonna get since i got here i haven't had eczema specifically on my eyelids like i've had like a dry patch still on the side of my face a little bit but it's been a lot better and my eczema on my eyelids and underneath my eyes just completely went away like a week after i got here and i think it's honestly due to the moisture in the air because it's kind of humid here it's not really humid to the point that you would necessarily just notice it but i can definitely feel a difference in the humidity here compared to back home but i really like how it's more humid because my eczema has been loving it so it's just been really good for my skin and my eyelids have been thriving like i've been actually been able to put if i want to like makeup on them because i haven't been able to put any makeup on my eyelids for so long because they were so dry 
and it was so bad yeah my eyelids are doing so good here and i hope that continues when i get back home but i think that since it's gonna be summer when i get back home it'll be fine but the thing is is i feel like i just haven't been eating my best here which is okay like we all go through those eras of our lives where we're super onto our health game but i just feel like before i left in terms of like my health i was like super healthy like i was having a green smoothie every morning and watching what i ate but here i'm just kind of letting go a bit which is fine but, but i'm excited for my post traveling life when i can just like kind of get in back into my like real routine because like as much as like i can create a routine here it's like more difficult i don't know how to explain it but like since you're traveling you want to kind of do things every day and you want to go to the beach every day like you want to really soak in the experience of traveling and not be 100 percent on your grind because you want to enjoy yourself too so that's like what I'm trying to balance right now is like being able to enjoy being here while also being on my grind, staying healthy. And it's like, it's hard to really balance those two things. So that's the only like con I guess about traveling that I've noticed so far. We just really moved out of our apartment like a couple months ago. So this is still pretty new for us or a few months ago now, but I just don't feel like internally my healthiest, but it's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it because I know that that's gonna change eventually and I'll get back on my, you know, my green smoothie game and everything and my fresh juice every morning. Also, in one of my last videos, I told you guys that I needed tips to keep my eyelashes curled because my eyelashes fall within a matter of 20 seconds after curling them and you guys told me a couple different tips, but the one that I've been doing is I've been heating up my eyelash curler with a blow dryer and it's been seeming to do the trick i mean be careful doing this though because when you first heat it up it gets super hot so you kind of have to let it cool and feel so you're not burning yourself or burning your eyelashes off but it seems to do the trick for me my eyelashes have stayed a lot longer than they used to which is really nice it gets so hot oh my god it's like burning you gotta be so careful because this is like metal Also, something that I really need to start doing again is drinking more water and I've actually been so good at it ever since I got this new bottle from a company called Bottle Bottle. When you have a water bottle you love and it's portable, when you're able to bring it anywhere, it really encourages you and helps you stay hydrated and drink more water. You guys, this is just the best water bottle ever. It's so easy and convenient to drink out of because it has like a sipping spout. So you don't even need to go and like unscrew a lid. And it also has a dual lid design where you can also open it this way and you can drink it like a spout. It has a secret compartment. So you unscrew this and you open it and I have pills in here actually. And it's so nice because it just directly stores underneath the water bottle. You can also put like tea bags, like whatever you want. And also it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold or whatever because it's double insulated. So it'll keep your cold beverages cold for 24 hours and then your hot beverages for 12 hours. And it's also BPA free, it can go in the dishwasher. So this water bottle comes in a 24 ounce, a 32 ounce, and then a 40 ounce. So you can kind of pick what size will work best for you. But this one is the 32 ounce and I find it like the perfect size. Thank you to Bottle Bottle for sponsoring this video. Obviously, everything will be linked down below. I have a 15% um, discount code that you guys can use on their website. I'll put it on the screen right here and everything will be written and linked down below. But yeah, definitely check them out because they have so many cute colors on their website. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna sit down and make my to-do list for the day because the days that I make to-do lists are the days that I am just the most productive. Like it directly correlates to how productive I am if I make a to-do list or not. But what I'm gonna be really intentional about today since I'm trying to be more on my grind is not getting distracted by my phone because I just feel like these past few weeks I've been picking up my phone every 15 minutes and just mindlessly scrolling on social media which is so bad and it makes me feel honestly like so shitty about myself and it's not something that's like good for my mental health like it doesn't benefit me in any sort of way and so it's like why am I doing this I'm addicted we're all addicted to our phones and it's like this instant dopamine that like we get addicted to is the reason why we're constantly picking up our phones every 15 minutes so making the conscious effort to not look at my phone I have this phone stand I actually stole it from Joel but I've been just keeping my phone on this phone stand during when I work and I just don't touch it so if I have any notifications I can see what they 
are because sometimes I need to like look at my phone for work, but I don't let myself touch it. It's just gonna stay here in the corner and I'm not gonna touch it. But yeah, I just feel like I was such such a good point with my phone when I was back on my grind like, a couple months ago and I wanna get back to that place where I was because my screen time has went up dramatically, which is not good obviously. So it's just so easy to get consumed by your phone every single day and you won't even notice how much time you're on it until you actually go in and look at your screen time and you'll probably be shocked because it's like 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, you don't even realize like how much you're actually on your phone during the day. And it's like that closes so many opportunities for a lot of things. Like you could have been doing not necessarily something productive, but you could have been doing something creative. I just want to be more focused because I have not been in my focused era. I have been in my lazy era lately, but that's the whole point of this video. Okay. Okay, so here is today's to-do list. This is just on Notion. I just gotta film this video today. Gotta <laughs> edit Sunday's video. Gotta do my laundry, which I'm gonna do right now, actually. And I gotta go grocery shopping. Gotta drink my water. And then I gotta book an Airbnb for August. And then, or at least look into booking it. And then I just gotta inquire about um, booking a hotel. Okay, let's get started and go do our laundry. We're just gonna go grocery shopping now because the fridge needs to be a little bit stocked. We're just gonna go to the one like nearby, which is pretty small, but it'll do the job. I really wanna make like tacos or like a taco salad for dinner. So I need to get ingredients for that. I have the ground meat defrosting right now, so it'll be perfect for in time for dinner. But yeah, I've been trying to cook like more structured meals because the first like two weeks that we were here, we were just going out for dinner every night. And then after that, I was just kind of like really lazy about cooking and I was just like, you know what? We can make the most easiest things ever, which was not very healthy. So now I'm in my era where I'm trying to have a good combination of the two. And also I'm trying to just like cook healthier meals at home. So, so this is a part of me getting out of my lazy girl era because Cooking isn't something that I don't like doing, but it's more of like a chore for me. So I try to like cook recipes where it's like a perfect medium where it's like not too hard to make, but it's still pretty healthy. So I've been trying to find like more recipes along like that and still where like it's really good. But yeah, let's go. got back from the grocery store here is a little haul so i'm making tacos tonight so i got some lettuce for that and then i also got just one tomato because joel doesn't like tomatoes so just for the taco salad and then i got this quarter of a watermelon because i have been craving watermelon so i'm gonna cut this up like right now and eat it and then we just got some fresh bread from the bakery some cheese for the taco salad some eggs strawberries and then some juice taco salad i made for dinner it actually looks so good it's just lettuce cheese ground beef and then i got avocado tomato and some salsa and then i'm just gonna add some chips um and sprinkle it on top like some tortilla chips for like the crunch and then mix it all together but i'm actually really happy with the way this turned out and i'm so hungry i cannot wait to eat it mm -hmm. 